Okay everybody, Stephen Keys here and I'm back. And today I wanna to talk about what is the best way to sell your idea to a company? All right, number one, the best way, make sure you're finding companies that wanna work with us. They're inventor friendly. That's really the first step. Find those companies that embrace open innovation, that really wanna work with us inventors. Now, how do you tell if they're inventor friendly? Number one, go look at the reviews of their products they're currently selling and make sure they've got good reviews because if they treat their customers poorly, they're gonna treat you poorly. Also, make sure they're on social media. Also, ask them, do you work with inventors? On, go to LinkedIn, ask someone in their marketing department and sales, do you work with us inventors? So, the first step, right? If you want to find the best way to commercialize your ideas, to license those ideas to companies, make sure they're inventor friendly. First step, great. And don't go after the biggest companies. The biggest companies don't license much. It's the mid-sized companies that need us, that want us. So that's the first, the first thing I want you to do. The second thing I want you to do is create wow. All right, you need to have a point of difference. Your product needs to stand out and you need to show why yours is a great idea. And you do that with great marketing material. There you go, you do it with the sell sheet. It's a one page advertisement of your product idea. Shows the product, maybe a photograph, photograph maybe a sketch, maybe a 3D rendering. But also above that on your sell sheet is your one line benefit statement. Why does anybody care? And then if you can, make a video, one minute, show a problem, show a solution, but create the wow. There's one of my products I always show, and maybe James will show a little commercial here with Alex Trebek. It's called Spinformation. You spin the label, it gives you more information. Sundown Herbals presents its remarkable twist and learn label. It works like an herbal information center that helps you learn about herbs simply by turning the label. Sundown's new twist and learn label, where to turn for help. And every time I take it out and do a presentation and I show that bottle spinning, everybody goes, wow, you want the wow factor. You need the wow factor to, for, to get a company interested. It has to have that. Okay, number three, protect it. Wow, protect it with a well-written provisional patent application. I talk a lot about that. It's a great tool. You can do it. Make sure you include the problem solution. Make sure you include workarounds, variations. How would someone do it a little differently? And if you know how to manufacture, put some of that stuff in there too. Make sure you have a lot of drawings, like a lot of line drawings. They don't have to be professional patent drawings, but make it in such a way to show that company when they do ask for it, that you've done your homework, that you know your point of difference, you've, you've looked for prior art, you've added a bunch of stuff to it that gives it value. So that's number three, protect those ideas so they want to, in case they want to file a non-provisional, or maybe you do later, but it gives you that option. Okay, the last one I wanna talk about is the licensing terms. All right, that's really, really important. The licensing terms, if you don't know what the licensing terms are, you better find someone that can help you do that. Because the minute you go out of sequence or the minute you ask for something that's just not right or not appropriate or you're asking for too much, they're gonna run in the other direction because they wanna make sure you're workable. They wanna make sure you're, you're reasonable. They wanna make sure they can bring you, in, bring you inside their company and you're not gonna embarrass anybody. So if you've done this, if you're going to do this, make sure you get some help. It could be us, it could be somebody else, I don't care. But this is not, it sounds simple and it is. In principle, it is. But if you've never done this before, you're going to need some guidance. Right, that's why these videos are helpful. Hopefully these videos are helpful. We've got free resources at inventright.com you can find on our website. Uh, we've written books and articles on all of it. I need for you to be successful because if you are, you're gonna help other inventors. So, I just gave you four things, um, four best, what is it? The four best ways to sell your idea to a company. It's very, very simple. So follow those, keep on, follow those, those four steps. 
like I said, you got to find the right company. You got to create the wow. You got to protect it. And you need to know the terms of a licensing agreement. But you're going to need some help. So, wow, Whew, I did this quick. I wanted to do a short video for you for this Monday. This is Stephen Key. Thanks for watching. Please. If you're watching this video, subscribe down below. We want to get the number count up. We're almost close to 60,000. Help us get there. I would appreciate it. This is Stephen Key. Thanks for watching.